Did you know that one of the most dangerous things at our beaches are rip currents? Yep, far more dangerous even than those big fish you're so worried about. A rip current is like a river in the ocean. It's a narrow channel of water that flows out to sea from the shore. Here are four things you need to know about a rip. They can be hard to spot unless you've been taught what to look for. There's often a sudden change of depth where the rip current is. One moment you're in knee deep water, the next you're in over your head. You cannot swim against a rip, even if you're a good swimmer. Do not jump into a rip to save someone. So here's how to spot a rip current. Look out for flat sections or gaps between the waves. Yes, the place you might think is the safest to swim can actually be the most dangerous place to swim. Look for discolored or sandy water. A sign that a rip is pulling sand from the beach and out to sea. Dark water and ripples on the water surface. Rip currents are often found between sandbars and next to piers, jetties and headlands that can channel the water. If you get caught in a rip, do not panic. Float or tread water until you can be rescued or returned to shore. Maintain your strength. Wave your arms above your head. If you are a strong swimmer, notice how the current is pulling you and swim at 90 degrees to it to escape. If you see someone caught in a rip, do not get in the water to help, but rather throw something that floats to them and call sea rescue or emergency services for help. To be safe, swim at a beach where lifeguards are on duty and always swim between the flags. Save the emergency number 112 in your cell phone now or Google Sea Rescue to find the number of the closest NSRI base.